Hey guys, worried about the future? Got a minute? As we've been talking a little bit more about overcoming fears, I wanted to point out a few that might not seem like go at fears, but something that we can do something about. And fear the future, fear the unknown is something that a lot of people get overwhelmed with. I know I even get wrapped up in it. I changed jobs and I've been doing some odds and ends in between and I know that that can seem very, very difficult, especially whenever your car breaks down and it's one of the most important things for your in-between jobs. This isn't a go at fear, but there is something that you can do here. Paul says this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Once again, easier said than done, right? However, there is something that we can do here. We can rest and we can embrace. We can say, God, we know, I know that you know my needs more than I do. So I'm going to present these to you. This is what I need. This is what is going on. Please help God and direct me. And then relax. Whenever I'm really stressed about money, one of the things that I do to let fear not overcome me is I'll go to Wendy's, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, somewhere, and I will get myself a soft serve ice cream or maybe a Sonic slush or whatever it is. These things are not necessary, but they also don't cost very much. A couple dollars. And I tell myself, look, I'm not going to worry about these things. God is going to take care of me. And also tell my brain that I'm like, I'm not going to stress so much that I won't be able to shell out a dollar fifty for an ice cream cone. And so once you're in prayer and you thank God for all the things that he's done for you, you've laid your petitions there, lay it down and maybe pick up an ice cream cone. Thanks for taking a minute.